Top Philippines Travel Scams You Should Know Before Your Holiday Travelers, especially beach lovers, rejoice when it's time to go to the Philippines. The country is rich not just in culture but amazing natural wonders as well. But even with the undeniable charm of the country, the Philippines still isn't perfect. Although Filipinos are generally known as loving and hospitable hosts, some people take advantage of tourists and even locals' obliviousness. Welcome back to another episode of Feet Pin Travel. Join us on our journey around the world as we share our best travel tips, guides, and amazing experiences with you. If you're not a part of our community yet, hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our latest and greatest uploads. Remember, we travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top Philippines travel scams you should know before your holiday. Let's get started. Number 1. Tanimbala Scam The Tanimbala scammers often target overseas Filipino workers OFW, and foreigners visiting the Philippines. This is when unsuspecting passengers in the airport have to deal with planted bullets in their luggage that reflect in the x-ray machine. The airport police will then hold the passenger until they receive a significant amount of money. This mode is started in 2015 and has died down after extensive media coverage. However, there has been a case of alleged Tanimbala incidents at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 3 recently as of writing. Although the passenger was allowed to board her flight, she wrote a Facebook post that went viral. As of now, the Department of Transportation is requesting the public to refrain from making assumptions while an investigation is still ongoing. How to avoid this scam Always be alert before, during, and after your turn at the x-ray machine. Keep your bags locked and cover them well if you aren't using a hard case suitcase. Don't let anyone get a hold of your things and don't touch other people's belongings either. If ever you've encountered such an incident, don't panic. Stay calm and supervise their checking. Never attempt bribery to get out of the situation. Call your lawyer immediately if you are harassed and won't be allowed to board the flight. Number 2. Broken Meter Scan Some taxi drivers pretend that their meter is not working, so they'll give travelers a fixed price to drop them off at their chosen destination instead. Haley Dasevich posted a video recently about a regular taxi who thought she was a foreigner and refused to use the meter and tried to charge her a fixed rate of 500 Filipino pesos, or $9.35 US instead. She posted the video online, which went viral shortly after. Some taxi drivers also take advantage of passengers not knowledgeable about the area. Instead of taking the shortcut, drivers would opt for the longer routes on purpose. Some drivers tamper their meters, which change faster than the regular taxi meter, resulting in higher fares for customers. How to avoid the scam Don't ride a taxi if they say that the meter is not working. Don't fall for these drivers' contrata systems. If you're in a taxi with a meter but notice its unusual charging, let the driver know. Make sure that your driver also knows that you've made your friends or family aware that you're riding his car. Give his name, his operator's name, and plate number to a friend or family member. Only join the official taxi queue if you're in places like the airport too. Number 3. Taxi Spray Scam Taxi Spray Scam usually happens when passengers are alone. You will notice the driver trying to cover his nose and mouth with a towel. Then he'll spray something that you will eventually smell and make you feel dizzy or disoriented. If you pass out, you might get robbed, assaulted, and abandoned on the road. How to avoid this scam Be alert when riding public taxis. Hide your valuables to avoid robber drivers. Always let the driver know that you made your friends and family aware of your destination and your taxi details. Keep the doors locked. Get out of the car immediately if you notice the driver spraying something and try to cover his nose and mouth. Number 4. Hit, Steal and Run Scam Some people fall prey to thieves who snatch phones and valuables of passengers, especially during heavy traffic. Sometimes, they pretend to throw something like eggs or any liquid substance on your windshield that will prompt you to get out of the car to clean it. They will use this time to do their job and steal your stuff. How to avoid this scam? If anyone throws something at your car or windshield while on the road, don't do anything. Wait until you're in a safe place to clean it up. As much as possible, don't let the windows down when traveling. Avoid unsafe and shady areas as well. If you can install a dash cam in your car, then better. Number 5. Pickpockets Pickpockets are everywhere, but they're more rampant in crowded places. 
They'll try to distract you with random things like newspapers or coins so they could slash your bags and steal your wallets. Sometimes they take it straight from their victim's pockets too. How to avoid the scam Avoid distractions when in a public area. If someone approached you to read a magazine or newspaper, they might be trying to distract you. Stay alert and keep an eye on your valuables. If possible, only bring a small amount of cash when outside if you can have an anti-theft bag. Use a money belt or place your bag in front of you instead of putting your phone or wallet at the back of your jeans. Number 6. Credit Card Scam Credit card scammers have a small device that steals information from the credit card holder, including the PIN. From then, they can make unauthorized purchases that will be under the card holder's name. How to avoid the scam When making payments with your credit card, stay alert and never let the card out of your sight. Opt for paying cash if you won't be able to see the cashier make the transaction. Number 7. ATM Skimming Even ATMs aren't safe these days. They are popular spots for potential robberies. There may be onlookers as well who will try to distract you. They could pretend that you dropped some bills so they can memorize your PIN and drain your account later. How to avoid this scam? Get someone to accompany you when withdrawing your money from an ATM. Double check if there is a card reader set up on the machine to capture your card's details. Cover your hand while entering your PIN. Beware of friendly people near the machine. If possible, look for an ATM inside a bank to make sure that you're in a safe environment. Number 8. Budol Bulldog Gang Budol Bulldog Gang members have different ways to take advantage of their vulnerable victims. Sometimes, they'd sweet-talk you or make up a sob story. Many years ago, I was on my way home from school when a woman approached me. She said that someone took her daughter's money and placed it in my bag so she wanted a check. She tried to take a look at my wallet, but I only had a purse at the time. When she said that her daughter's money wasn't with me after all, she warned me about my gold ring instead. She instructed me not to wear it in public and put it in my purse before I go home. For some reason, I kept following her instructions. Nothing else happened after that, but when I arrived home, I realized that my purse wasn't with me anymore. It was gone along with my ring. How to avoid this scam? Listen to what your parents told you, don't talk to strangers. If possible, avoid wearing pieces of jewelry when you're commuting. Number 9. Spike Drinks if you're going out for some drinks, make sure that you're not alone. If you're traveling solo, always be aware of your surroundings as you might be a potential victim of a robbery or even rape. The bad guys sometimes lace other people's drinks to take advantage of their tipsiness. How to avoid this scam Don't leave your drinks unattended. If you can buy a bottle, the better. It's much more challenging to tamper. Don't accept drinks, especially bottled drinks that are already open, from strangers if you have a gut feeling that they can't be trusted. If you accept, don't finish it at once. If you feel off after drinking, let a friend know immediately. Number 10. Public Wi-Fi Hackers can quickly get into unsecured Wi-Fi connections. They can have access to your personal information in merely 20 minutes. From birth dates to online account passwords, they can pull out your details and that will jeopardize your accounts. How to avoid this scam? Avoid connecting to suspicious Wi-Fi hubs. If possible, bring pocket Wi-Fi or go on your mobile data. Otherwise, double-check the official SSID before you use it. Be wary especially if the connection doesn't require a password. With that, we've reached the end of this video all about the top Philippines travel scams you should know before you holiday. Which of the scams on our list shocked you the most? Have any of you guys been to the Philippines and experienced the scam yourself? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this one and found it interesting, remember to leave a like on the video so we know to make more for you. Also, subscribe to Feet Pin Travel for even more amazing travel content just like this video. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in another episode.